Welcome to this DeskProto tutorial video on geographic relief models. In this video I want to show how you can create such relief model based on free so-called digital elevation data. The example relief is of San Francisco, however you can do this for any part of the US or even of the world. First step is to collect the relief data and for the USA these are a free download from the United States Department of Agriculture and the website as you can see here is datagateway.nrcs etc. I can see here get data, several options we want to order by country and here we are San Francisco is somewhere in California I can here select where is it San Francisco okay add to the selection and submit I come to the next step what data do I want much data is available we need the digital elevation data where is it elevation I have the 10 meter uh, resolution continue what do I want included? I want it as a free download FTP continue I want to enter my data after entering all data we can press continue and go to the next page it's the review of what we want to order it will be correct I say place order and the next thing is that I will get an email with a download address for a zip file. I used the link in the email to download the zip file, here it is. Let's open it one level deeper and here we are. The data is divided into a large number of files. It's seven different tiles and for each tile four files are present most important is the TIFF. TIFF uh, sounds like great news at, as that's a standard image file format however unfortunately it is not as you can see uh, you can recognize the coastline here black is the sea you can see the Golden Gates you can see Alcatraz Island over here should be gray values for the mountains these are not present and that is because the file is not a, re a standard TIFF format it's a geo TIFF format uh, which is a special geographic format that includes data on the exact location of each tile. So we will first need to convert to a standard image file format. We have found a free tool to make this conversion from GeoTIFF to a BMP file which is this ER viewer program available from Intergraph Corporation. Just open this uh, GeoTIFF file uh, you see the gray values for the mountain ranges and then save it as and I save it as a standard BMP file which is the best format for this application I use the same name as was in the TIFF file here we are just keep the default values and then I have to do it again for the second file the information on the exact location of this tile will of course be lost in the conversion process for this relief we will be using two of the seven tiles in the download here is one opened in some paint like program I already made it a bit larger so that I can add the second tile via copy paste here we are um, the tiles do overlap a bit so I will be making a visual alignment which is not a really good practice however for these tiles it worked out fine um, here is a result next thing we need to do is uh, correct some coastline errors you can see when I do a fill area of the sea some details in the sea have the wrong color and we need to correct these as they, will be, as they will be visible in the flat sea area of the machined relief so I'll just remove them this way and it's a lot of work however uh, at the end you will end up with a fine relief before we start Desproto we need to make a small side step to determine the height range in this uh, bitmap here's the zip file that we downloaded I open it I go to the 
file that we processed, G4, and we open the XML file for this tile, and here it says the max height is 341 meters. And now we can finally start with Proto. Here it is. We want to make a bitmap project. Here we are. First operation will be the roughing operation. And I start browsing the bitmap file that we just created. Here we are. You can see it on the screen in Desproto. Uh, I'll start you checking my parameters. The free movement heights may be a bit lower. Border is okay. Subsegment is the bitmap. Most important here are the roughing parameters. Half a millimeter, half a millimeter skin, a layer height of two and a half millimeters. Strategy is okay. I want to have a bit thinner cutter, a three millimeter ball nose cutter and my precision values are 1.33 millimeters. Apply, and now we can have the bitmap settings where the uh, dimensions of the bitmap are most important. I want to base them on the precision, and here we go down until we have a relief of 200 millimeters, 200 millimeters. The total area is about 20 kilometers, which means a scale of 1 to 100,000. The uh, relief height in reality was 341 meters. That would be 3.41 millimeters, but to make the relief more pronounced, I'll keep the white for the mountain tops at 5 and the black for the sea area at zero. So we are all set. Calculate toolpath very quickly and we can see that two roughing layers have been created and that the relief is present in my bitmap file. I will add my second operation by copying the existing one as that way I do not need to re-enter all parameters. I want to use it, uh, name it semi-finish, as I need a semi-finish operation. My finishing cutter will be too thin to remove the total layer, the total skin in one go. What do I need to change here? Obviously, roughing skin can be gone. Roughing layers are not needed, and my step size is 0 0.6 and. 0.33. I now need to correct the bitmap size as it was based on the precision and I go up to the same 200 millimeters that we had. Here we are, calculate toolpath and here are the semi-finished toolpath and the roughing toolpath. Okay. The uh, third operation will be the finishing operation. Again, copy, finish, here we are. And for that one, I want to use a smaller cutter. As said, a one millimeter ball nose for a very detailed result. And also a high precision, say nine millimeter, nine tool path for each millimeter. Again, uh, apply and again correct the bitmap settings for the correct size, 200 millimeters. Here we are, OK. Calculate finishing toolpath. Again, zoom in. And here we are, these are the finishing toolpath for a very detailed result. The last detail that I want to add is some engraved text in the C area over here. And I do that using a 2D operation. Add 2D operation. Here we are. It's called text. And I have prepared a DXF file with this text for San Francisco. Uh, the C is at 0 millimeters Z, so when I engrave it at 0 0.2 millimeter deeper, it will be visible. Uh, and I have found that I need to transform it 
as you can see here, it's outside the relief with 10 respectively 20 millimeters to have a correct uh, view. Say top view off off. Here we are, here you see the text. And when I now calculate the toolpath for the 2D operation, I can clearly see it over here, the engraved text at 0 0.2 millimeters depth. So that's the complete project. Let's save it uh, here to keep it for future use. San Francisco project. Okay. Indeed, no STL file is present here, so no problem. And the last thing we need to do is save the NC toolpath file. I'll uh, save two files, one for the 3 millimeter cutter, which is SF 3 millimeters. OK, only those two operations. And the second one is for the smaller cutter, which I can combine in one file as well. So the 1 millimeter bull nose cutter, and we will call that SF 1 millimeter save, which will take a bit longer, obviously. And when that's finished, we are all set. Here's the milling machine. The material to be milled is tooling which is easy to machine based on And here is the result. You can clearly recognize many landmarks in the resulting relief model. And the best news is that this will work for any part of the USA. So you are free to create a relief model of your own hometown. The website also tells how to obtain elevation data for other parts of the world.